Everyone sees what you appear to be. Few experience what you really are. If an injury has to be done to a man it should be so severe that his vengeance need not be feared. Never was anything great achieved without danger. The lion cannot protect himself from traps. And the fox cannot defend himself from wolves. One must therefore be a fox to recognize traps, and a lion to frighten wolves. There is no other way to guard yourself against flattery than by making men understand that telling you the truth will not offend you. The first method for estimating the intelligence of a ruler is to look at the men he is around him. I'm not interested in preserving the status quo. I want to overthrow it. Never attempt to win by force what can be won by deception. Men are driven by two principal impulses, either by love or by fear. Men are so simple of mind, and so much dominated by their immediate needs, that a deceitful man will always find plenty who are ready to be deceived. It is not titles that honor men, but men that honor titles. How we live is so different from how we ought to live that he who studies what ought to be done rather than what is done will learn the way to his downfall rather than to his preservation. Where the willingness is great, the difficulties cannot be great. He who seeks to deceive will always find someone who will allow himself to be deceived. Since love and fear can hardly exist together, if we must choose between them, it is far safer to be feared than loved. A man who is used to acting in one way never changes. He must come to ruin when the times, in changing, no longer are in harmony with his ways. Whosoever desires constant success must change his conduct with the times. Everyone sees what you appear to be, few really know what you are. The vulgar crowd always is taken by appearances, and the world consists chiefly of the vulgar. There is nothing more important than appearing to be religious. A prudent man should always follow in the path trodden by great men and imitate those who are most excellent, so that if he does not attain to their greatness, at any rate he will get some tinge of it. The promise given was a necessity of the past. The word broken is a necessity of the present. Of mankind we may say in general they are fickle, hypocritical, and greedy of gain. It must be considered that there is nothing more difficult to carry out, nor more doubtful of success, nor more dangerous to handle, than to initiate a new order of things. Half of these aren't even Machiavelli. Some are Plato, Thucydides etc., doesn't anyone check these? There is no avoiding war. It can only be postponed to the advantage of your enemy. Men in general judge more from appearances than from reality. All men have eyes, but few have the gift of penetration. Wisdom consists of knowing how to distinguish the nature of trouble, and in choosing the lesser evil. Therefore, it is necessary to be a fox to discover the snares and a lion to terrify the wolves. He who becomes a prince through the favor of the people should always keep on good terms with them, which it is easy for him to do, since all they ask is not to be oppressed. In conclusion, the arms of others either fall from your back, or they weigh you down or they bind you fast. 
Men judge generally more by the eye than by the hand, for everyone can see and few can feel. Everyone sees what you appear to be. Few really know what you are. Men never do good unless necessity drives them to it. But when they are free to choose and can do just as they please, confusion and disorder become rampant. Everyone who wants to know what will happen ought to examine what has happened. Everything in this world and any epoch has their replicas in antiquity.